Alright, here's number 30 on your homework, finding the volume of this drinking glass. Okay, make sure you pay attention. It says the drinking glass is not a cylinder, but is actually part of a cone. Okay, so we have the big cone right here. And we have this mini cone right here. Okay, and what we really want to find out is this volume just of this part. So we're going to need to do the big cone and then we're going to have to subtract the half cone. We'll call it that. Okay, and that will give us the drinking glass. So step one, we're going to start with the cone and we know the cone formula is volume equals pi, pi r squared times the height divided by 3. So we have 3.14 times the radius squared and the radius on here is right there. 4.5 centimeters. So 4.5. Then we're going to times by the height which is all the way down to the point. And so that's 26 plus 16. So 26 plus 16, 42 centimeters. Okay, and then that whole thing will be divided by 3. Okay, so I'm going to plug this into my calculator. 3.14 times 4.5 squared times 42. And then we'll divide the whole thing by 3. And we get 890.19 cubic centimeters. Now that's not my final answer, that's just part of my answer. Now I'm going to do the half cone. So we're still using the same formula over here. So 3.14 times the radius squared. Um, now the radius is right here. That's a little hard to see. I'm going to erase some stuff. The radius on the mini cone, or the half cone, is right here. That's 3.5 centimeters. And then we times it by the height. Okay. Which is here. And that's 26 centimeters. And then we'll divide the whole thing by 3. So we do 3.14 times 3.5 squared times 26, and then divide the whole thing by 3, and we get 333.363 repeated, and we need to round this to the hundredths place, so then our final answer would be 333.36 cubic centimeters. And that isn't our final answer either, that's just part of it. Um, go ahead and pause this, make sure you have it copied down. Um, I'm going to erase some of the extra stuff so we have some more space. Okay, so now what we need to do is take these two answers and we need to subtract them. So we're going to do 890.19 and we're going to subtract 333.36 and then our final answer is 556.83 cubic centimeters. And that's our final answer. Um, and if you want to see the other problems from your homework, go ahead and find the other videos.